Good morning, and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. Today is Monday, July the 12th, 2010, and it's hot. <laughs> yes, we're having a heat wave over here in Germany. Uh, we're on number four of seven steps to success, flexibility. But let's start out with Jay's quote for today. It says, the greatest discovery of my generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes. That's by William James. Now, let's go on and get right into Jay's thoughts on flexibility. And remember, uh, this is coming from uh, an ebook, which I will definitely uh, send to anyone that wants it, okay, as soon as I finish this series. Um, it's uh, called Seven Steps to Success. And, oh gosh, I'm trying to get the author's name. I'll give it to you next time. No, his last name is Edwards. I can't think of his first name at the moment. So, <clears throat> let's talk about the definition of flexibility. It says, the quality of being adaptable. Okay, that means you can change very quickly. Okay, uh, I think somebody said women do that very well. Um, only joking. <laughs> Uh, flexibility, a measure of ability to respond to changes in demand. Okay. Now again, I'm on, I'm using the text right from the book because I think it it really gets the message across. It says we need to notice that we need to notice what is working and what is not. That means when we're working on a project. Okay. Sometimes you know I, I say you have to make detours. They say you have to be flexible. And be prepared to change our approach in order to get what we want. That is the essence of flexibility. Gentlemen, I ask you to think about courting. Okay? And believe it or not, ladies court too. They don't admit it, but they court also. Okay? Um, when uh, you or she sees that person or she sees you, it's like a plan goes into operation mentally. And it's how am I going to get his or how am I going to get her attention? Okay, you try something that doesn't work, you try something else. If that doesn't work, you try something else. I think that's called being flexibility. That's the simplest example I can give you is courting. Okay, I don't know if you young folks still call it that, but it worked for me. Okay, uh, a wise person once says, if you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. That is wonderful. That is a wonderful true statement. In other words, if you continue doing exactly what you're doing, then don't be surprised when you don't see any increase or change in your results. That's what they mean about flexibility. And believe me, folks, having had more than one business in my life, I know you definitely have to be flexible. You have your plan. You have a way that you think it is going to work. Okay? But sometimes you have to make changes. Okay, to uh, I call it adjustments to make it work a little better or to get you your goal. But if you get stuck in that same old mode and you're not willing to be flexible to try something a little different, okay, then you're not gonna make it. Okay, so I'm gonna read that paragraph again because I think it's so important. It says, if you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. Uh, that's a wonderful true statement. In other words, if you continue doing exactly what you are doing, then don't be surprised when you don't see any increase or change in your results. Now, that was a quick lesson for today because I wanted to remind everyone uh, tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio, Millionaires in Action is the show. We're having uh, an author, motivational speaker, and believe me, I've listened to uh, some of her programs. Her name is Gertrude Chapman. You want to get fired up? <laughs> Join me. I'm saying with, with her and myself on one program, this is going to be fun. I am really looking forward to it. Okay? So bring a friend and come out and join us at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Tuesday, tomorrow night, the 13th. Alright, but for today I'm going to ask you to do what I always ask you to do, okay, and don't get flexible here, okay, just go out and bless someone, alright, you know, when I say blessings, blessing comes in different forms, so think about that, I'm not talking about just sticking money in someone's hand, you could say a prayer for someone, uh, uh, use the attitude of uh, the Boy Scouts, helping elderly person across the street, 
By the way, I am a senior citizen now, so if you see me, don't feel bad about coming to grab my arm. Okay? All right? And when you're helping them, you bless them. Please, please tell them JJ sent you. I mean, Jay sent you.